Yo, what's up guys and welcome to the three course dinner challenge in Santa Fortuna. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 But before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. And if you've missed any videos so far I've covered in Santa Fortuna, then feel free to click the link in the description of the full playlist of videos that I've covered so far in Santa Fortuna. For this one, we're going to start in the Shaman's Hut and we're going to start with the classic lockpick, the coin, and our pistol. You can use any any of the lockpicks that you have uh, required so far in the game. They all work exactly the same. So from the very start here, obviously we're just going to shot both of those guys in the head. The rest of the people that are there don't care that you've done that. But we need this disguise in order to trigger Andrea Martinez to go towards the construction site. So what you have to do in this particular challenge is basically feed all three targets to the hippo. And it's not going to be easy. Well, for this guard it is, because... Uh, I found out a way to basically pretty much do it undetected and it's not going to be blasting through the village and shooting and gunning everybody down on the way because trust me I've tried it and it's not very successful because most of the time of the game you kill that many guards the game crashes anyway so when we first come into this village right here we're just going to go ahead and shoot this guy or take him out or whatever you want to do subdue him shoot him in the head doesn't really matter but we just ultimately just need to take him out and grab his body and put him in the crate over here why it's because we need the glue that he drops on the floor so we're just going to go and grab that because we're going to need that a little bit later on. Well, quite a, quite a bit later on, actually. Yeah, so ideally we want to try and get down, get them all to the hippo without getting detected by anybody. And that's exactly what we do. And uh, try and encounter as minimal as, as many, minimal amount of obstacles as possible. So first of all, we need to go and talk to Andrea Martinez just to get her to get down to the construction site. And we're going to take her out down there because it's the closest she gets to the hippo itself. There may even be an opportunity or something that I've, I've missed in the game that leads all three targets down there at once. But I don't think there is. I really do think this is probably the most uh, legit way of doing it. Because it doesn't require you to do that much in regards to like taking loads of people out. I mean you do have to take people out on this route but uh, it's not as bad as basically gunning people in town and dragging through them in public villages. Because that's just that's silly. So uh, we're actually going to do it under the ground tunnels. So it's going to be a lot easier. So we've spoken to her now. I'm waiting until she basically says, you know, I'll make your own way there or whatever. And that's when we're going to head down to the construction site. And we need to talk to the foreman that is at the construction site himself. And what's going to do from there is we're going to have to wait for Andrea, Andrea Martinez to actually come down to the construction site. It can take her a while. But we're going to need to create a distraction for her to, in order to grab her without getting spotted. But so when, you, when the informant announces that you're going to do a ritual there, everyone has their back to you anyway. And you'll have like a, a five second win window in order to get Andrea Martinez. She doesn't really, really respond well to distractions. It, it, it is kind of a bit tricky. If you do have an emetic syringe unlocked so far in your game, I do highly recommend bringing that along with you and smuggling it in, in the construction site. You can use that on the target and get her to be sick in a secluded area so you can take her out that way but yeah if you haven't you don't have to worry because i'm going to show you how to get her without that anyway but it does help out tremendously if you do have an emetic syringe already unlocked you can go ahead and just stab her then she'll go off and be sick and you can take her out nice and easily very very safely so we're just going to wait for the foreman to get in a position here and uh once he does that he's like i said he's going to announce to everybody oh there's going to be a new there's going to be cleansing the area and Let's get ready and everyone just goes to the middle part and then everyone just has the back to you. Then we're just going to wait for Andrea to get in position for us. Do my best. 
So at this point here, I recommend making a save. And the reason for that is this is very easy to mess up if uh, you haven't done it properly. So I recommend just making a save here just in case you have to redo four minutes of uh, gameplay. So what we have to do here is before she steps on the concrete in the middle there, we're just going to drop our coin and she's going to get distracted by the coin. Just walk away a little bit and she'll have a question mark above her head and go over to pick it up. Just before she reaches the coin, you want to go and pick it up and then drop a coin a little bit further away, almost close to this puddle right here as you possibly can. And uh, once she's moved over this direction, you want to go ahead and subdue her. Pick up the coin that obviously that you've dropped on the floor. And then we can go ahead and drag her body away. So at this point in time, you've got her. You don't have to worry about too much now, apart from just dragging it all the way to there to where the hippo is. There's going to be one dude here in the, in the way. So we're going to go ahead and take him out as well and dump him in the nearby crate. I don't know why he's not joining in with the rest. Like he's been, uh, he's been naughty or something. I don't know. Not allowed to join in with the rest of the crew. I don't even know what he's doing there. So once we've done that, now we're going to go ahead and drag her body all the way through this section here, all the way into the caves. Now I'm not sure if I mentioned it at the start of the video, but you should be should be on casual difficulty, and uh, it is it is possible on professional and master if you want to do that, but it's completely unnecessary. Also, if you play it on casual, you can remove the, the, the cameras that are going to be dotted around the areas. And also, there's going to be less enforcers. It's going to be very, very much more easier to do this particular challenge. Like, I'm, this is the very first time I put it on casual. And yeah, honestly, it's going to be a, make it a lot more easier for you rather than putting it on any other difficulty. It doesn't matter. You're still going to get the challenge done anyway. So at this point here, we left the body just behind that wall. I'm just going to grab this document here and basically just push this guy in the water don't really need him around and that's basically gonna draw out the hippo just in case i'll throw the meaty bone in there anyway it doesn't really matter but uh, what we really wanted to do is to bring out the hippo and uh, basically the person who's supposed to be the ex expert on the hippo has gone off uh, to make a phone call on regards to get more information or something like that i think he's kind of probably using google to find out more information on this but so uh, all we've got to do now throw martinez in there and that'll count to martinez one out of three of your three course dinner now the uh, the guy that's coming down he's gonna find out that the hippo is oh you're arrived oh it's there and he's gonna go off and tell rico about the hippo and he's gonna bring him back and that is when we're gonna take care of the second target and then we can move on to jorge franco which will be our third and final target So while he goes off and disappears, and while we wait for Rico, it's going to take a while, there's actually going to be a remote explosive planted on the back of this pillar here. I'm not sure why, but uh, it is there. And there's going to be a locked door here, so we're going to actually use this explosive to break this door, explode it, and then run back to the position where we actually was. All we're doing there is just preparing for ourselves to go into that tunnel, because we're going to go in there next. It is going to panic a couple of guards that are just above you, but don't worry too much. As long as you stay in this particular area behind cover, you're not going to get spotted by anybody. You don't need to worry. So uh, all we need to do is get that, that door open. Because it's locked behind a keycard lock. And we don't have a keycard or a scrambler on us at the moment. So it's the best way to get in there. And uh, prepare for what we're gonna, what's going to take place a little bit later on. We're going to try and make ourselves a little bit. Make our lives a little bit easier for later on. But at the moment all we've got to do now is just basically wait until Rico comes here. So I'm going to skip to the point where he is. Right here. So he's come back and he's spoke to the guy and he's told him to go away. He wants alone time with him, the hippo, and uh, once, it, once he's walked away, we can go ahead and push him in there and that'll take care of the two out of three of this particular challenge. Next up, we have our final target, which is Jorge Franco. So we've got two down, and uh, this is where the long process of is going to start off. So once we're actually in this tunnel here, we're going to wait for this guard to turn around first. We're going to pull out our pistol. We're going to be shooting these guys and take them out as quick as we possibly can. I recommend activating a fast target system. So you can lock onto their head straight away. 
And once we've knocked both of those out, you can go ahead and grab one of the disguises if you want to. Uh, it does give you more free roam around this area. We're actually going to take out two more guards down here because uh, we're going to be dragging a body through this area, which is Jorge Franco, of course. But uh, we're going to make our, li our lives a lot more easier and a lot more less eyeballs around this area. So we're going to try and distract two guards right here. We're going to throw one of them and get them one by one. So we're going to push ourselves against the wall right here and then, then uh, push the subdue button as fast as we can. And you should pull him around the corner and get a, sort of a corner subdue. There's a conveniently placed crate there so we can put him in there. Grab his uh, gun that's on the floor and then throw another coin and do the same thing. So if you're playing on casual there should be a lot less than forces around this area. I think there's... Well, I think there's at least one less guard around this area anyway on casual mode. And of course there's no cameras on casual mode either to ruin your day. But once these two guards are taken out, um, that will make this, this section completely easy. You'll be able to, wouldn't be able to, you don't have to, you don't even have to, have to stop in this area. You can just drag them all the way up through this area. Obviously I think this is the intended way, otherwise there would be no point in this uh, secret passage at the back with all this cover. Now we're just going to come up here and try and just scout the area. There's going to be two guards in this area, I think. And we're actually going to grab this one because we need to drag the body through this area. So we're going to get rid of this guard here. While we're here. Just throw it against those boxes there. He's an enforcer as well, so just watch out for him. So once he turns around, that's when we're going to go ahead and take him out. Well, I shot him in the face, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so yeah, that's the benefit of having a pistol down here. When you use the disguise a little bit later on, you're not allowed to bring the weapons down here, so it's kind of annoying, that's why we're doing it right now. As far as anyone else goes, there's there's no one really else to worry about. you got three workers that are, that are in this room, and we can go ahead and knock those out a little bit later on, but for now, we're going to exit this way and uh, carry on with the rest of the what we need to do this will take you out to where the coca fields are where jorge franco is and there shouldn't be any enforcers around while you're wearing this disguise but we're actually going to pretty much go back to the beginning of the map and grab ourselves the hippie disguise so i was debating whether to go that way which i should have gone that way because you can go through the mansion that way and uh, head out straight through the main village whereas because i took this this way it's going to take longer to get back into the village and really, I should have just uh, took that way. Because once we come down here now, the guards are going to discover the bodies that we took out right at the beginning of the map. It's weird how they just only just spot them now, after 16 minutes. It's kind of, kind of weird. But it don't matter, we're going past them anyway. So once we've done that, we're going to go all the way back into the village and... Uh, grab ourselves the hippie disguise we need to use the lockpick on his door we're going to repair the little bus that's on this table i'm not even sure if you need to bring it but i brought it anyway just in case because it just in case it doesn't trigger anything that's why the, uh, the only reason i bought it that's why we had to pick up the glue a little bit earlier on as well so we're going to glue that together pick up the little bus that's full of cocaine and um, we're going to grab the hippie's disguise and then go back into the tunnel area. We need to get led down there by a guard. So I'm just going to use a coin to distract the, uh, the hippie that's outside. There's a clock radio there you could use, but uh, I'm going to use this because it's a lot faster. I tend to find uh, environmental distractions to react a lot more slowly to the NPCs rather than just throwing a coin. So I tend to just uh, throw a coin myself. So I'm just going to grab all the stuff that he's dropped on the floor. I'm going to drag him in and put him in the closet. I don't think hiding body is necessary, but I'll just do it anyway, because why not? Once you've done that, at this point you want to go ahead and drop any illegal items that you may have, any pistols, any machine guns, anything you've, any weapons that you've picked up. When it comes to wrenches or whatever, you can keep those as long as it's not an illegal item. Just scan through your uh, 
inventory and if it's got like a red exclamation mark there that you that means you know it's a legal item so just drop those because we are going to have to go through a frisk point right here and if we get if we get spotted with any weapons then obviously we're not allowed not allowed through so once you've dropped all those weapons you're allowed to get through this for a frisk zone no problem we shouldn't need any weapons at this point anyway we've got some melee items to use if we need to So now we're past the frisk zone, we're just going to wait for him to call Jorge Franco down into the caves. And we're going to need to be pretty quick doing this, we're basically this guy's going to come down and lead us to the, where the caves are, but we're going to take his card because we haven't got the patience to just walk with him and engage in conversation. We're just not, we ain't, we ain't about that life, we just want to get in there, get done and get out. So we're going to go ahead and subdue him and I'm going to pick up his pistol as well and his key card that he drops on the floor I'm going to just dump his body in this uh, little bush here could have also taken his disguise as well but I don't think it's necessary because we're going to try and remain undetected anyway but once we're down here we're going to try and intercept the Jorge Franco as fast as we can I'm just going to run straight to his location he's going to be by himself so you don't have to worry too much so it's just going to be in this tunnel over here. You should have a perfect opportunity and plenty of time to actually take him out. So he's just on the stairs here. That's why I didn't engage with him straight away. Because he's kind of in an annoying position right now. But uh, I don't think it matters anymore. I'm just going to punch him in the face, I think. We'll throw something at him. Yep, coconut will do. He's still talking. How is he still talking when he's clearly passed? Okay. Never mind. But from this point right here, you don't have to worry too much when you were dragging the body through these these cave systems. These people don't really change their position that much. But uh, and there's also a guard over there. Again, all three. You've got a lot of cover around here. You don't have to worry too much about dragging the stuff through here. But there's only one of them that's moving. I do get a little bit paranoid at this point because I do need to get over to that area over here. So I need to make sure that I'm going the right way. And you want to get into the submarine area. So it's that one. That we need to go down. So there's this one person here I wasn't completely sure about. So, um, I'm fairly certain you can probably drag the body past there because he's concentrating on something that's on the shelf. But I wanted to create a distraction to just to get him to turn around. And I threw it the wrong way. I should have threw it to his right rather than his left. But you know, it got stuck in the environment there, as you can see. So it didn't go where I wanted it to go. So this is kind of messed up. So I'm, I'm just playing. I'm just winging it at this point. But what I recommend doing at this in this area is I would do throwing a coin in the opposite area what I've just done there, but obviously initially because he's not even reacting to that one. Instead, another person reacts. So it's not going the way I want it to go. So I recommend just either throwing a coin in the opposite direction where they are, or just go ahead and just knock them all out as fast as you possibly can, or as silently as you can. And because there's only three of them and there's one guard, you shouldn't have to worry too much. Just, you really want to make sure he doesn't shoot you because if he lets off a loud pistol noise he might detract all sorts of attention that you just don't want but once you've taken out all these four people that's all that's that's the hard part completely out of the way you're pretty much home free from this point you're not going to get spotted through the submarine section purely because there's just no eyeballs on that area where you are dragging his body through you should be completely plain sailing through here on out we're actually going to use this as guys while we're here because why not and like I said, there's, not one, there's no guards around looking in this area. We've already taken out the only two people that were looking in that direction. And even then, they couldn't see you very, very well anyway. And it was very rare they could spot you. But because we took them both out, it's not even an issue anymore. So literally, it's all, all about just dragging this body all the way to where the hippo is now. Completely undetected through this section. Nice and easy. And I'm pretty sure this is, this is the intended way. Because I don't see any other way of actually getting these other targets anywhere else. Because it's completely not an option to just drag them through the, the village. It's going to be very, very tricky for you. And that's if the game doesn't even crash. I mean, I got to a stage where I got to the mansion when I was dragging a body. And I was gunning every single person down. But it got to a stage where there was that many dead bodies on the map. The game crashed for me. And it happened twice. So I didn't. I don't really thought this can't be the way that the developers intended you to do it. There's got to be a better way than this. And I think this is probably the best way of doing it. Unless there's another opportunity of doing it. Which I don't know about yet. I'm sure someone will probably find out and tell me there's an easier way. But uh, 
this is the way I found to do it, and I found it to do it be very effective. So, yeah. Just around the corner is where we're going to do the deed. It's literally just around the corner now. So I'm going to speed this up until the end, because it's dragging on a little bit. So finally we're here, where well, there's no guards around either, so you can just take your time, throw him in the water, and that will take care of the three course dinner challenge. Almost completely undetected apart from that bit where we had to knock everyone out, but it's just as easy as that. It wasn't that hard, it does take a long time to do it, as you can see, 25 minutes, but that is the, the probably the best way of uh, getting this challenge completed, so hopefully this has helped you out. So that's going to do it for this video, so thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on this video if it helped you out or if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. For the full playlist of videos, check out the link in the description. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.